I'm not supposed to be in here, but I am. Hey guys, what's up? It's Red Shirley, and today I am here. Uh, 24 hours of Daytona, and that's the winning car right ahead. Let's go. As a kid who dreamed of racing one day, what drivers did you look up to and why? What was it about them that made you a fan? For me, there's probably, so my, my dad raced Indy cars for 13 years and I always looked up to him in racing and um, three other guys, Tony Kanaan, Dario Franchitti and probably the most for me was Dan Weldon. I always looked up to those three guys. They were very charismatic, they won a lot, and, and they were very nice people and very genuine. So uh, they, they were really fast in the race car. <laughs> if you weren't a professional driver, where do you think your other passions would have led you? Or do you think you'd still be famous? Probably not. I don't really know what I'd want to be doing, honestly. I've only ever wanted to be a race car driver, there wasn't anything else. Uh, there was a time when I was a kid that I wanted to be an astronaut, but I feel like that's pretty unrealistic. I'm not smart enough to be an astronaut, so... Uh, maybe like a, a chef. I feel like that'd be fun. What were some specific tracks you really can't wait to get on this year in IndyCar? Coda for one, that's going to be really cool. Um, I like that they changed Iowa to a night race. That's going to be a fun one as well. Long Beach, I've never gotten to race there and that's 40 minutes from where I live. So I'm really looking forward to that one and seeing all my family over there. And then uh, hopefully next year I can say Australia. Was learning to drive a streetcar more difficult for you or easier after growing up behind a wheel? I would think all the rules would be harder to stick to when you would go all out every weekend. Yeah, well the thing about race car drivers is when they drive in a streetcar, they pay less attention. So I feel like we're kind of worse drivers on the road because we think we're better than everybody at driving race cars. So maybe, I don't know, sometimes we don't pay, pay enough attention at the wheel and they kind of get a little lazy, but overall I think I mean, if something were to go wrong behind the wheel and we start to slide, obviously we know how to control it. So, it might be a little better in some ways, a little worse in others. How would you propose going about more than seven cars entering into Indy Lights races? <laughs> it was tough. There were still fast guys. In there was really five fast guys. You had Aaron Tielitz, who's actually racing here, who's actually made it as a professional driver, Victor Frantoni, who's also racing here, Santi Urrutia, who has proven to win against a lot of guys in the years past in lights, and Paco Award, who obviously everyone knows who he is, he's my like, teammate he in IndyCar, and obviously me as well, so, um, yeah, there's there's five really good guys, and, and usually when you see a series, there's any, like, there could be 20 cars, but there's usually around five or six really quick guys anyway, so it, it really didn't make that much of a difference. IndyCar hasn't had a new game in 14 years. I racing Forza, Project Cars 2, and all that don't count either. With popularity growing again, do you think that we'll ever see a series-focused console game again? Imagine all the different download content alone. How do you think we can make this happen? I, I want an IndyCar game. I remember the last one they made was probably IndyCar, you might know, 05 for original Xbox. I played that when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, they need it. They, you're right. All those other games don't count. It needs to be IndyCar strictly. Yes. But I, the way to go about that, I don't know. I think there needs to be enough popularity and a, that they can actually sell the game and everybody knows what IndyCar is and will want to do it. Just like F1, obviously, it has global popularity so they can sell it everywhere. I mean, IndyCar is going up in the world, so maybe they'll make a game soon. Thank you. Well, this is Florida. Welcome to Daytona in January. <laughs> so I just finished up talking to Cole and Herda. So I want to talk to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Press that subscribe button and like it and share with all your friends. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm freezing. Ah! Wait, do you wait? A big one. Oh. You 
were not good enough. It took your kid uh, to kick my butt this time. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, congratulations also Thank you. for, you know, yeah. how much you raised the kid you raised. I'm very, very impressed. That's very nice. I'm so impressed with what you did. Celebrate!